621 on your finally Friday. We're digging into the email bag. No answers yet to a couple of what's driving you crazy problems, but let's see what's on your mind. Jody in the Southwest Valley wants to know, is there any way to find out if when the city plans to widen Warm Springs between Tenea and Buffalo in the Southwest, single lane in each direction regularly bottled up any time of the day? Uh, Jody, I think that's actually a Clark County issue, but I will forward this on to Dan Kulin over there. If you've been driving in that part of town for the last year or three, you know things have improved a little since the construction over at Warm Springs and Buffalo finally finished after what felt like forever, but we'll see what Dan has to say about that single lane issue. Now we check in with Tracy right in about the far northwest. When traveling east on Lone Mountain, turning left at Fort Apache, there's no speed limit sign. Fort Apache's 45 miles an hour should be posted. She says people are going below 45 because they don't know. They may have made that intersection a four-way stop as well. She thinks that's going to cause accidents. Well, Tracy, I think this is also a county issue. I'll find out about getting some speed limit signs posted there, but I got to tell you, maybe not a bad problem to have if people are going slower than the speed limit. If there's no posted sign, some drivers take that as a permission slip to put the pedal to the metal, and a four-way stop is supposed to prevent crashes. I'll get back to you. For now, I think we can all use a weekend. Buckle up, drive carefully, put down that phone. If something's driving you crazy, email me, traffic8 at lasvegasnow.com.